Hi, it's Ed Osborne from Top40Weekly.com, and this is Music Through the Years, where I'll be covering some of the top songs and artists of each year. 1977 marked the beginning of rock and roll's third decade, which easily eclipsed the average lifespan of any previous mainstream form of music. Coincidentally, rock was enjoying a midlife renaissance, ruling the album charts for all but seven weeks. The number one spot for the other 45 was held by just two artists, the Eagles, who had two million selling singles with New Kid in Town and Hotel California, and Fleetwood Mac, who had four top tens, Go Your Own Way, Dreams, Don't Stop, and You Make Loving Fun. Other successful rock artists that year were Steve Miller, Linda Ronstadt, and Bob Seger. If you didn't want to rock in 1977, there were plenty of records to which one could roll, sensually that is, including Tonight's the Night, Gonna Be Alright, I'm in You, and Right Time of the Night. Not every artist created music to fit into well-defined categories. For instance, Jimmy Buffett released Margaritaville, and Al Stewart had Year of the Cat. On the country side of the street, Kenny Rogers began his remarkable run of crossover pop adult contemporary singles, as did Dolly Parton. In 1977, disco expanded beyond its usual rave-up dance club rhythms into more romantic, laid-back grooves, which were on display in I Just Want to Be Your Everything and You Don't Have to Be a Star to Be in My Show. For those who preferred more energetic music, there were tracks such as Best of My Love, Don't Leave Me This Way, and I'm Your Boogeyman. And yet, despite these successes, Disco appeared to be losing momentum on the mainstream top 40 as singles from other genres gave it strong competition. Then something unexpected happened that kicked dance music into the mainstream stratosphere. On November 15th, the soundtrack to Saturday Night Fever was released and the movie debuted in theaters across America on December 16th. How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees was released ahead of the movie and became the year's last number one record. They would become the superstars of disco and popular music in 1978. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of Top 40 Weekly's Music Through the Years. The hits will keep on coming, so keep on visiting Top40Weekly.com for the biggest online U.S. Top 40 music archive available with detailed information on various artists and their hit songs. Thanks for viewing.